Carly Shea and Neville Papperman. From tapenade kisses to evil schemes, these two were destined to be rivals. He showed me an x-ray of his brain, he tried to make me dance, and then he kissed me. Whoa, he kissed you? <laughs> Jerk. Here's the full story of how Neville and Carly became enemies. Let's start at the beginning, when Carly meets Neville for the first time. Everything seemed to be going great when she went over to his house for an interview. You know, I was really impressed with your web show. Uh, thanks so much, that really means a lot. I know. However, things got a little messy after Neville tried to steal a kiss. I stole a kiss upon your cheek, and now another kiss I seek. Take some top and odd. <laughs> You shouldn't have done that, Carly Shay. You'll rue this day, you'll rue it! After the top knot incident, he wrote a nasty review. Get ready to rue. <laughs> you found Neville's review? Read it. I Carly, or as it should be called, I boring. You see? Too boring? Forcing Carly to take matters into her own hands. Neville Papperman, did you write a bad review of this girl's web show just because you were angry with her? You told my mom on me? Neville? Oh, okay, yes, but only because she rubbed my face with top and eyes. Because you kissed me in a surprise attack. <laughs> you told me you thought girls were yucky. That was last year. I'm going through changes. It wasn't long until Neville messed with iCarly.com once again by hacking into their stream. My identity is a secret. Neville, come say goodbye, sweetie. Mother, I'm busy. <laughs> Neville? Hello, Carly. Sam, Freddy. You're the one messing up our webcast? That's right. I've hacked your website. I told you I'd get revenge. No, you said I'd rue the day. Same thing! And this time, he made sure that his mom wasn't around to foil his plans. I'm untouchable. I control like Carly, and there's nary a thing you can do to stop me. Nary? <laughs> Let the ruing begin. Feel it, Carly. You feel the rue. You feel it! But even though she may not have been around, that didn't stop Carly from finding a way to get back at him. Get me down from here! <laughs> After you apologize to Carly. I'm sorry, Carly! Now. Yeah. Call yourself a weenie. <laughs> I'm a weenie! He is a weenie, yeah. Very weenie-ish. <laughs> It was apparent they were never going to get along. However, after Carly wished for Spencer to be normal, her relationship with Neville took a turn. In this alternate reality, these enemies became boyfriend and girlfriend. Mitch! Mitch! Wow, you say Mitch a lot. Neville Papperman is my boyfriend? Yeah. Gross! You can say that again. Luckily, once Carly returned to the real world, her and Neville's rivalry was still going strong. Well, bah humbug. A canceled credit card and a crazy fan creates the perfect opportunity for Neville to take control of iCarly.com. Hello, former iCarly fans. I'm Neville Papperman. Welcome to the new iCarly.com. And now, Carly and Sam are going to visit my underarms. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we can't breathe! Too bad! <laughs> In order to save their website, Carly must make the ultimate sacrifice and kiss Neville. No. First, this. Wait, what, what, what are you... Bye, Neville. Whew, <laughs> that was a close one. Rufus Neville! What is she? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. After a viral video ruins Neville's reputation, Carly, Sam, and Freddy celebrate with a karma party. So what's a karma party? It's a special party where you celebrate the failure and disappointments of your enemies. <laughs> and since Neville is now the most hated kid in America, we are going to celebrate. Desperate to restore his image, he turns to Carly and her friends for help. Let's say you really do feel bad about what you did. Why should we help you? I know I don't deserve your help, but where else can I turn? So what do you expect us to do? 
Well, first, I'm hoping you'll be kind enough to untie me because I've lost all feeling in my hands and feet. Reluctantly, they work together and have him apologize live on iCarly. I hate the way I yelled at that little girl. I don't know why I acted like that, but I know it was really, really wrong. Neville was so close to redemption, but it wasn't long until he returned to his old ways. Jerk! Can I buy you a smoothie? No! I have never seen such careless, stupid... Hey, Neville. Aw, oh, Chiz. Just when we thought Neville had learned his lesson, he comes back to seek revenge. In his true evil genius fashion, he goes undercover disguised as a robot and gives out iCarly candies, which makes everyone's voices deeper. And was trying to pretend like he... How come your voice sounds all... How come your voice sounds all... Okay, what's going on with your guys' voice? With your guys' voice? Whoa, 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 what's happening? Once Freddy uncovers the truth, Neville and his bodyguards trap him in the robot costume. Neville, come on, there's no reason to put the head on me. Let's just talk about this. I, I thought, thought we, we were friends. friends. And now... Why are you doing this to me? No one can hear you scream in a purple robot costume. You can't take the head off. It's magnetically sealed. Open the elevator. Yes, sir. I hope Carly and Sam don't get too violent when they find you. Oh, wait. I hope they do. After a few drops in the jerk basket, they realize that Neville is standing right behind them. Why? Cuz! You I Carly's were supposed to help me regain my popularity after the bread and butter pickle incident with that little girl, and you failed. <laughs> no, we didn't fail. We did help you. It's not our fault that afterwards you went and screamed at some dude in a wheelchair. He rolled over my foot and scratched my loafers. But he isn't the only one who can be sneaky. Without his bodyguards, Carly and her friends are able to take care of Neville for the last time. No! I hate being dangled! Too bad. You people better get me down from here right now! You heard him. Going down. Or so we thought. Fast forward almost a decade, and it seemed as though Neville and Carly would be enemies forever. You despise Neville. I thought you'd be upset about going to his wedding. Of course I'm upset. My sworn enemy wants to make me miserable by flaunting his happiness, but I'm gonna make him miserable by flaunting mine. We're still talking about happiness, right? Are you sure you wouldn't be happier just staying at home? Obviously, but if I stay home, he wins. Carly and the gang are invited to Neville's wedding and are introduced to his fiance, who may or may not be a robot. Why did you throw this at me? Uh, wedding tradition. <laughs> Magnets symbolize lifelong attraction. Quick question, though. Why did it stick to your head? Oh, uh, I don't want to talk about it. We're all friends. Give us the download. When she tries to tell everyone that Prunella is not who she seems to be, Neville comes swooping in and reveals his true intentions. We're not getting married. No! 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 Yes, yes, yes! It's really happening! It was no surprise that Carly would never marry Neville. But in a strange turn of events, he ends up professing his love to his fake fiancé, and the two end up happily ever after. Someone loves me. This has never happened to me before. Prunella, I, I love you too. Carly, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll manage. Could this be the end of Carly and Neville's years-long feud? Or will he find a way to mess with Carly again? Try not to destroy iCarly anymore, all right? <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs>